It is making us poorer. It is making. And by the way, just just look at the world. majority of kids that go Most to college. Most people are that more get depressed a than when they enter. degree are able Secondly, to perform much better in their field than someone who doesn't. Well, then we're going to blame that on college, though. If you look at the average, how much debt do you have to go to school? By the way, none. Do you, are you on scholarship or? Yeah. Well, well, no. This is really important. This is why you're so defensive of college. Yeah. This is why you're so forceful because. Hi guys, you're welcome you guys uh, feeling good. Charlie Key puts arrogant college students in his place. So let's check it out. Yes. I'd like to disagree with you right, about uh, college as a scam. Okay. Just because there's 50% of people who you say don't need college to get a job, why would it be a scam? There's a social impact about college, about on America. College is, you know, good. The majority of kids that go to college when they graduate have a lower view of America than when they entered. Do you think that's a troubling thing? I think just changing your opinion doesn't really matter too much. D do you think that college teaches responsibility and hard work? And sure. Okay. okay. Well, yeah. I, I find that hard to believe. <laughs> Why is it that employers are more and more not wanting to hire college graduates and they actually want to hire people that didn't go to college? Yes. What employers? Uh, you can name them out, man. Walmart just got rid of their, uh, even in their corporate level, so you don't need to go to college. Coke Industries, one of the largest employers in the country, from Georgia Pacific Railroad oh, really? to uh, Dow wow. Chemical. They said, we no longer want kids that have gone to college because okay. they end up causing problems because they're super entitled and they're like, oh, what are my pronouns? And they have all this like left-wing nonsense that they've been filled with. Well, then you have engineers, doctors, lawyers, people that Sure, we need that, but that's less than 20% of the people that go to college. Yeah, but college it, it'd be wrong to say college is a scam if 25% of people become great people you know lawyers doctors engineers that's not what really college currently is though again i i'm happy to have you read the book college is a scam i wrote it i can have a more wordy thing which is the vast majority of people that go to college are receiving a scam for the money that they're borrowing the vast majority that's of course there's exceptions you can make whatever you want with your life i mean you could but i mean when you enter into an enterprise yeah, you need to know that you that are going to college let me, let make me more money at the end. how many of you guys have to take classes that are a waste of time that you wish you wouldn't have to take every single hand you're being scammed against your will to take classes oh that make God. you go further into debt. Yeah. Why can't you say, I don't want to take this class? Why are you as a, why um, as a customer you can can't you say- Can you do a differential equation? You what? Well, can you do a like differential you equation? Can I do can a- Can you explain me the anatomy of a human? Uh, s like someone off the top of my head. You know what psychology is. Yes, I do know what psychology is. Okay, can you Freud explain it Jung. to me? Do you want me to explain psychology? Well, you can't explain is, it to the depths of a bachelor's degree or a PhD. Well, hold on a master's. second. Time out. I've sat here with no notes, no phone, and debated people with yeah, PhDs, masters. Because you study this because it's your job. Hold on. I didn't go to college, man. That's wow. the point. Is you could do whatever you want without a college degree. Wow. You could listen to podcasts, read you, books. You think don't about need if to Gauss go. Gauss wasn't able to go to the University of Gottingen. That's Say, literally the uh, reason. I, I can't hear Gauss, what you said. What'd you say? You know Gauss, right? No, uh, Mathematician. Yes, yeah, uh, vaguely, sure. Okay. Vaguely. Yes, vaguely, yeah. Oh, do you know okay. who Mel Freeman is? Do you know who Herbert Marcuse is? Do you know who Thomas Sowell is? Do you use a phone? Do you know who Gouverneur Morris is? Well, that's because of Gauss. No, you don't. So I could do gotcha too. Like, so Euler before you try to went get going off to your university tower is the reason that, that not he, became, everybody he was able to become so proficient in mathematics so here, here's and change the, the world. The majority of kids that go Most to college people are get more a depressed than when they enter. degree are able Secondly, to perform much better in their field than someone who doesn't. Well, then, if that's the question, if that really is true, if well, college is this amazing accelerant, then why do so I many people? I wouldn't say it's accelerant, but if you're looking at a field of science, right? Let me finish, man. And you want to have you taken a communication course, science, or have you not done you that yet? You need a degree. All right, okay, okay, let, let me let me fit, make my point. If that's the case, why do half of these kids end up with anywhere between fifty to one hundred thousand dollars in debt, and they end up getting a job that says, "Oh, sorry, you never needed the degree in the first place." Mm. Why is that the case? Tell me. Uh, people on average, once going to the college, make more money. Hold on, no, that's not true. They end up getting that, a job. That is. In the, that's only if they graduate in the, and it depends on the field of study. Do you know the a, the average college graduate now is a, is is getting a job at sixty one thousand dollars a year. The average plumber after eighteen months sixty eight thousand dollars a year. Well, the sure, average but the welder, plumber seventy two thousand dollars a year. With peers, the, the, well the plumber didn't go to college. The plumber went to ta trade or technical school. There's eleven million job openings that do not require a college degree in this country. Well, eleven who engineered million the stuff plumbers oh. use. I'm sorry, what? Who engineered the this stuff plumbers use? Not uh, I'm sure someone here. I mean, that it's it's uh, like someone with a degree. It's like saying who designed college. the airplane for the pilot to fly. I mean, someone with a degree. 
that I went I, to college. I, I, I was I, going I'm to college. A, I, I think you're misunderstanding what I'm saying. I'm not saying you get rid of all places of higher learning. The way it's currently comprised for you guys, the amount of debt you have to go into, the classes well, you that say you have to take. don't get rid of places of higher okay, learning, but then you go on to you're say You're interrupting every 15 seconds. You're not debating in, in good faith because it is a scam. So let me ask you a question. Can you point to other things of American life the last hundred years that have been scams? For example, when someone they run an advertisement, they say, buy these pills because you know we're going to make you super muscular. And they don't have all the fine print that it might not work and you have to have a monthly subscription. We shut down that business for being That's a, a scam. That's a little different though. That's a How product. is it different? Hold on a second. When you show up to college, did they tell you you have to take all these classes that you didn't sign up for? Did they, oh, they, they, they said that you're going to have to take all these different classes. Did they tell you that half of you guys would not ever use your degree when you go into your career? How many guys knew that? You guys knew that when you signed up? Yeah. Well, college you is what you well, make of you guys it, right? Are, you guys are willingly participating in the scam. Good for you. The point is this, is that most kids know deep down they're getting ripped off. The number one thing I hear from people across the country in corporate America, boy, college is a waste of time. Boy, I wish I never would have gone. Now I have $60,000 of debt, $70,000 in debt. I wanted to start a business, but now I don't have the credit to do it. Instead, we are wasting our most prized possession, our 18 to 22 year olds, to go stick them at many universities when they shouldn't be here in the first place. And it is a failed project. It is making us poorer. It is making, and by the way, just, just look at the a actual numbers over a period of time. Has it worked? Is homeownership now going up for young college well, graduates? How are we going to blame that on college, though? It's the There's no, a it's lot the, of different it, reasons it the that most people are not able applicable, to buy homes. It's the most equally applicable thing across the board for a generation. I say so. And, and it, it, if you look at the average, how much debt do you have to go to school, by the way? None. None? Oh, okay, wow. Do you, are you on scholarship? Nice. or? Yeah. Okay, hey, so who's paying for your college? Why? Probably the federal government. Okay, so I'm paying for your college, is what you're saying. <laughs> Uh, My taxes are paying for your college. So wait, do you have a, you're on grant or what? Uh, I'm not going to discuss my college finances. Well, no, this is really important. This is why you're so defensive yeah. of college. Yeah. This is why you're so yeah. forceful. Because you don't have to walk around the rest of your life with $100,000 student I loan debt. I know plenty of people that have part-time jobs no, no, and go no, to this college. Ex this explains you perfectly. I, the taxpayer, when I write my check to the IRS, I'm subsidizing your ability to go to college. Okay. When and I, I write my mistake. check to the IRS, I also give money for people to go to college. You should have skin in the game. You should, and you don't right now. You are doing a freeloading thing. Of course, you should be defensive I of college. I pay taxes. I pay federal taxes. Yeah, I, I pay state taxes. I, I, I'm well, sure state, I pay a little bit more than you, taxes, but that's a separate right. issue. But the point is this: is that's that true. I, do you do you, th you think you pay anywhere close to the tuition value you get at the school? Probably well, not. Yeah, probably I do. It's like five thousand a semester. It's a lot of money, but you get a lot out of Wait, that. Wait, hold on. How much is it to go to school here? It's around five thousand. So in state. In state, yeah. Okay, five, did that include room and board and tuition? No. Okay, how much does that, that cost? Uh, room, board, tuition, all of it's around 11000 11000 wow. a semester. So you pay $22,000 a year in taxes? Uh, no. Okay, got it. So you're, you're in a tax deficit, That's which means the U.S. taxpayer is subsidizing your education. That's fine. I'm not faulting you for it, but this is why you're so defensive, is you're detached from the price. You're detached from the cost. It's easy to be defensive of something you're not paying for. My goodness. Well, I would say this guy is arrogant. I would say he's just been defensive and I love I love his courage. I love his boldness. Okay. Like I was shocked to hear that in abroad you can actually get a job without you going to university, without you going to college. That does not happen in Africa. Like Africa most majority unless it's your own business. But for for them to employ you in a company without your result very very rare over here and i will understand the reason why the employment opportunity is higher there even if you don't go to college because you're going to college just imagine them paying eleven thousand dollars per semester just to go and study man it's crazy guys it's a whole lot that's what you can actually pay for like two or three students abby two or three Three, four years. If you, yes, three, four years over here in Africa for, for, for study, let's say for two years. But that's a whole lot. So, so I understand Charlie K point of view because if you look at it, college is a scam based on his own point of view because while you go to a college, you pay numerous amounts of money and all what they teach you is theory. And those theory, you don't need it in the field of work. So some people later regret it and say, I wish I had saved that money. I wish I used that money to start a business. I wish I used that money. Regret starts happening. I was always surprised to hear that he never went to college. And he has a lot of knowledge. Knowledge is power quite well. But there are different ways you can learn. Yes, it's good to go to school. When you go to, you know, grade, and you attend secondary school, 
if you don't have the you know privilege or you don't you, you are not financially strong to go to the university it's not a must I me mean, i believe that wherever your strength can take you to you should do it's not a must to do what you cannot do you know so yes it's good education is good college is good but so, sometimes it's a scam because why will you pay so much money just to acquire knowledge and at the end of the day after you're done with school you start looking for jobs or the salary you earn is not even up to half of what you paid per semester in your college so that's what charlie k is trying to point out and this guy this is why they said it's arrogant and i i, I kind of find it that way that it's kind of arrogant because you are under scholarship you can't compare you that you are under scholarship to so person that is working his house working day night or work having a job apart from learning to pay for his school fees there's some student that they pay their school fees they work and school at the same time so some of them later drop out of school because they are unable to you know pay they are unable to continue because the school fees is too high you know that's why i wonder how if africans go to abroad to school they are really trying man i never knew their school fees is this high i never knew it's very very high like this because dollars dollars is not like naira you know how you know naira hey if it was naira now that's okay it's fine but dollars is a lot i know pounds is higher than dollars but man and especially those people that are going to to UK to, to school pounds they are paying pounds and you pay a lot of money just to acquire knowledge people say I want to go to abroad yes it's good to learn it's good to you know you know expose yourself going to abroad to learn give you much more opportunities you get job quickly and easily after you're done with school but at the same time the money you spend in college is a lot so he, he even made mention of so many people that they didn't go to college and they've made it in this life it's on scholarship just imagine a student paying eleven thousand dollars and you you are on scholarship wow that was a good one i just love this debate i really love the way charlie k just you know gave its points even though yes i love the guy's confidence but later on i got to understand why he's defensive over the word college is extreme it's defensive over the sentence college is extreme because of you know he has privilege you know he's kind of lucky because at first they asked him is he owing any school fees is he having any debts and he said no that was when i thought oh he seems this guy is working his ass out and it was when he now said he's under scholarship i was like oh no wonder no wonder you're so defensive over the issue that was a beautiful one let me know your thoughts in the comment box i'll see you guys in the next one bye